All right, welcome back, you guys, to Garm Sports. My name is Ronnie. This is Alec, and we're back here talking about baseball. Today we're attacking the AL West, trying to find out the best bargain players. Um, best bang for your buck. Best bang for your buck. Let's uh, let's start. Uh, we're just gonna start off with the Seattle Mariners because they're the worst. <laughs> You want me to start it off? Yeah, start it off. What do you got for Seattle? Uh, there wasn't many options to go through, to be honest, because a lot of them are arbitration. So with the options I did have, I actually went with D, D, uh, D. Gordon. D. Gordon's like, how much are you making? Um, this year he's making 13.8, but it was a 5 for 50. So if you average it out, about 10 million a year. That's not, not bad. D. Gordon is an excellent second baseman with a ton of speed. Or shortstop or outfield is what I like to do. Yeah. I went with a guy who came back, who was with um, Arizona, but now is back, Taiwan Walker. I looked at him. I just, when I looked at his total body of work, I know the contract's nice, but when I looked at his total body of work, it's the, not, it's, it didn't live up to the numbers D. Gordon's already put up. Now, but like he's 26 years old. Yeah, but like 26 year old with, with, some, with, with some power pitching. Like, but he's never put it together. No, he's never put it together. And Dee Gordon put it together, and it's a pretty fair, because we agree the average players, position players make about... 10 to 12 million. Sometimes you see a lot more than that, too. Yeah. And Dee Gordon, for example, Bogarts is making 20. He's not on the Bogarts level, but he's not half the player of Bogarts either. No, no he's, he's only making 10 million yeah. average. Yeah, he's definitely, he's definitely a well above average player. So then, He won't get you the home runs. He will get you the fielding, the speed. The stolen bases. And now imagine a playoff team. He is a very talkative and a very engaged person in the, in the clubhouse. Yes, yeah. and if you look at our early success when we started winning again, I say we as in Boston, Boston fans, that sucks. Oh, yeah. So when we started winning again after the Crystal Bambino, throughout the playoffs, there were a lot of clutch steals we needed that we got. Yeah, yeah. Now, the right team gets a D Gordon again. At 10 million, like you said, a, a great leadoff hitter. I like him. But and what, again, there, there wasn't many options on. What I, what I think is he's also very good trade bait, but he's also very undervalued in MLB. I think he's yeah. really undervalued, and I don't think he will get that much. You won't get that much out of trade for him. He plays three positions, so he's a perfect utility yeah. man. Yeah, I went with Tyron Walker because it's only two million a year. Two million a year with uh, for a twenty-six year old who has experience in the MLB. Twenty-seven now. Twenty-seven now. I think he still has a chance to maybe be a number three. Long way away from a number. Ronnie, but when I look at his one hundred sixty-two game average for his career, when you average out, he's eleven and eleven. Mm -hmm. So that's a five hundred percent winning percentage. Yeah. Three nine five ERA, thirty-five games. 188 innings, 177 hits, bro. Okay, but so 170. Com I com go. Compare him to Ian Kennedy, who's who's making that 15 mil. Yeah, that 15 mil. So we're, we're comparing him to D. Gordon. Now, if we compare him, it wouldn't even be close. I'd take him in a heartbeat. Yeah. Okay. With with D. Gordon, I think it, that he's so undervalued that. But that's, what, that's, what would have gotten me to pick him is the fact that he, if he was better trade bait, he's not better trade bait. A lot of people, a lot of like contending teams are content with their second base. Like I can't think of a. He's, a, he's also outfielder. He's also a shortstop. He could be off your bench. I wouldn't play him off the bench, but he could for be off your bench. For a Ten million bench player, though. I see players get more that don't even play. That's true, but like who, who like to get me over to your side? With all honesty, you got to give me like someone who would trade for him because I don't see anybody trading for D Gore. Well. I mean, Red Sox himself might need a second baseman. Pedroia has been inconsistent. They Chavez, got, people aren't fully sold on. I like him. They got Sanchez now. I like um, Jose Peraza. Um, oh, it's Peraza. Peraza, right? Peraza, I think it is. Peraza. That's what I meant. Not Sanchez. Peraza. Yeah. Yeah, I like him. He's only 26, too. Yeah, and that's a really great deal. But yeah. I'm just saying the Red Sox can use him because we also need somebody in the outfield. That's why we got Pilar and Pilar. But you've seen the Red Sox farm system. The Red Sox farm system, they don't want to give up too much. I don't think they would. You even said for D. Gordon, I don't think they would. And it's one year left on his current deal that he just signed, five for 50. And it's a piece that could really help him in the playoffs. And it could be a Brock Holt. I think a better version of a Brock Holt. Wait, but how many years? 
Does he have left on the contract? It would be his last year, so you wouldn't be taking much of a gamble either. That's He's on the last year of that five-year fifth. Ooh, that's true, actually. Yeah, actually, you got me there. You the Dodgers? Me. Dodgers, he did well with the Dodgers. Dodgers could use him. He's getting picked. Yeah. Think about it. Um, I think, yeah, you're AJ right. AJ Pollock's always hurt. He plays outfield. He plays center field. Yeah. Second base, you can interchange him. Seager's had a couple injuries. You could also throw him that second. Like, I do think a contender would pay that $13 million for his last year of his deal. Dude, does the Washington have a second baseman? Who's your second baseman? You know what? I'm yeah. going to go with D. Gordon. Yeah. Um, Tyler Walker is, has a lot of upside potential, I think, but... He hasn't had any numbers to prove it yet. I, I, yeah, I'll go with D. Gordon, too. You're right. Do you know Tyron Walker's war last year? 0. 0.1. <laughs> he, he barely played last yeah. year. Yeah. He only pitched one inning. 0. 0.1. He only pitched one inning. <laughs> That's crazy. All right, next we have the Rangers. The Rangers. I forgot who I picked for the Rangers. I'll go. I have Corey Kluber. Corey Kluber. Signed a six-year, $59.8 uh, so let's just say 60 So it's pretty much another contract valued at $10 million per year. That's the average. For a Cy Young candidate. Yeah. Who ha was hurt last year and had a bad last year, but if you look at the year before I, that. I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't think at all about... Corey Kluber, honestly, I went with uh, Cody Allen. Cody Allen, um, his ERA. He, the past two years, he's he's gone up in ERA, but the years before that, two ninety five, two fifty one, two ninety nine, two. I think you just like because it it's one year for hundred K listed on here. Yeah, but like one year hundred K, ten million for, for a Cy Young, like you said, like. I don't know, man. I think I think if he the year before, because last year he was hurt. Last year he only got thirty five innings in. It was um, he started seven games. The year before that was two hundred fifteen. Yeah, with the, the two eighty nine, like four or five years, he's pitched over two hundred. Two hundred three with the two two five, two fifteen with three one four, two two hundred and twenty two innings with the three four nine, two hundred thirty five innings with the two four four, bro. <laughs> The year before that, his first full official season, 26 games started, he pitched a 3.85. That, that was technically his rookie year, 147 innings. And from this, only improved besides last year, we only went seven games. Okay, this is, this is another argument I'm going to give to Cody now. He's trade bait. And Co Corey Kluber, is it? No, I want to keep Corey, Corey Kluber. But that doesn't mean he's not trade bait. How much, how much does he have left on his contract? He, he's on the last year of his deal at 17.5. So any team with the team option. So any team can take the risk that's, on him for a one-year deal. True. That's true. But I would get, I feel like you would get a lot more back. But I think holding Cody, uh, Cody Allen for 100K for possibly getting uh You might not even play. Hey, hey, well, the, why wouldn't he? Before last year, last year he only had 25 games. He only played 25 games. Before that, it was 70, 69, 67, 70, 76, nah, 77. You can't just dismiss That's, my man's body of work. With the yeah, one year left on it at 17 and a half, again, we already established Aces get 25 but, million with the team option, so you can control whether you want to bring him back the following year or not. 25 million, and I think Cody Allen could be worth eight. No. Eight, nine, no. no. Cart, yeah. For Cork Kluber's. Eight, nine million. I'm going to agree to disagree. Cork Kluber is still nasty. Hurt last year, numbers in. For the last five, six years before that, consistent. He's, he's, worth, he's worth more than what he is making now, but I think also. Cork I would Allen. love if the Red Sox won and got Cork Kluber. I would not. I would love if we went and got him. Yeah, if they. I didn't say give if, up a prospect, a high end prospect. I say if they get him on like a two year. We have him twenty five million. We would have him for this year and a team option. Man, yeah. At seventeen and a half. Yeah, but he's thirty four and like That doesn't matter. Ah, it just comes off that injury. I'm, I I I wouldn't I wouldn't. Man. But that's the thing. We one year at seventeen and a half and he does terrible, we don't have to pick up his fault his option. It's really a one year deal for the whoever whatever team decides to have him. But the, the, the prospects that the Rangers gave up I said I wouldn't give up the prospects, but I said I would love to have him. I don't need Cody Allen, no disrespect. Cody Allen is a great reliever, and I'm, I'm actually, I'm gonna stick with him. I'm not going in anywhere because his ERA plus average is 135, and I, I like him. I like him a lot. 314 average. Like, his average, or I give you Corey average. Let me give you Corey Kluber's average before we get switch the next. Career average, you wanna do six for 162 games average. 16 and 10, 
316 ERA. 314. Which is pretty close. 220 innings pitched. Uh, only 41, but he's a... 220 league. innings pitched. More, that means he's been seeing... 66. Bro, he's been seeing more... He, but most he, pitchers see him. Top most hitters see him two to three times a game. He's a, he's a reliever. This guy's a reliever. And that's exactly, my man. What he does. My man has a better ERA when he's pitching more and being seen more by the same hitters. But oh, he's he's only being paid a hundred k. Bro, two hundred twenty-two innings pitched, two hundred forty-two strikeouts, average. With a three one six ERA, With an average of twenty-two saves. I think he's a bargain, a bargain and a half at only a hundred k. I would, between the two contracts, I would still want Corey Kluber on the Red Sox. Between the two uh, Okay, I know. I'm not saying who you want, but I'm just saying a bargain. Bargain, yes. I, bargain. I can't argue bargain, but so is Corey Kluber at 17 and a half. We're playing Rick Porcello more. Who would you want? Especially of course the I last want. six years of work? Of course I want, Co uh, want him. That's I, I, I'm, I'm going with the bargain, and I'm sticking with Cody Allen for, for, the, for the... Who do you have? So let's move on to the next one then. Who do you have for the um, A's? For the A's? Uh, I am going to butcher his name. Use Mario Petit. I don't know. I don't. I know who you're talking about. I actually had him on fantasy last two years. Yeah. Killed it for me. Yeah. But I, I don't think you see my 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 man. My man. Two two seventy one ERA last year. Like wow. That's like how many people know this guy? I Honestly. do. I do. <laughs> oh, wait, no shit, you do. You had him on your team, but I mean, yeah. an, an average, like a not many baseball use. Not many, but can I ask you how many people know my guy? Who, who do you got? Marcus Simeon. Marcus Simeon isn't his contract's pretty high. I, I thought he would think one for thirteen. One year for thirteen million. Yep. And how he had a big year last year. Last year, you would think it would be just last year, but last year was two eighty five. 33 home runs, 187 hits, 657 plate at bats, 8.9 more, bro. Yeah. Yeah. 8.9. So let me read you off his home runs as he's gone. So his first official season, played 155 games, would be 2015. 15 home runs, 27, 10, 15, 33. Bad and average, same thing, 257, 238, 249, 255, 285. So he, he's right there. Uh, game average, career game average for 162 games is 32 doubles, 4 triples, 22 home runs, 72 RBIs, 256 batting average for 13 million. I'm taking that. For only 55 million, you can have a reliever, sorry, my shit closed down, that had a, a, a starter that had a 271 ERA. Yeah. No, reliever, sorry, a reliever that had a He two started games. games too, I had he started some, Yeah, he started some games, he was a starter and a reliever. But I, like, for 271 ERA, for only 5.5 million, woo! Hell yeah! Mm, he's 35, he, war 2.3. He's 35, and I think he is another guy that I consider trade beat. Bro, he's had some bad years. Bad years. Let's, I'm gonna run down not all the full season. 957, 458, 431, 582, 386. Yeah, he's he's had three five six three six nine three six seven four five zero two seven six yes three two seven one the last three years yes. I mean, so that means he's gotten better. But at thirty five, got better yeah, but to okay. the last three years. Yeah, but, but I, I'm saying you know what you're getting from him, and I think. But Papa Marcus Simeon's is about turning twenty nine, bro, and has also gotten better. And also last year gave you 43 doubles, 33 home runs, 92 RBI on a 197, I believe, win t Oakland team. Yeah. Who projected to go for 100. Bro, it's a bargain. 13 million for a 33 home run hitter who's hitting 285? Where? Where? For how? Well, you said 13 million. He had 285 last year, 33 home runs, how, how much do you think 43 doubles. How, how much do you think he's worth? At those numbers, that's a twenty million plus dollar contract. He's not a gift fielder, dude. He's not the best fielder. Bro, with those numbers for 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 twenty home runs, we're already paying ten million. It seems like um, for thirty three home runs, forty three doubles, twenty five. His shorts, the shortstop position. Played all one hundred and sixty two games, bro. Very stacked, and I, I don't see. He him. played all one hundred sixty two games. He played short, third, and second. Twelve errors last year. The year before that, twenty. Year before that, but 12 errors. 20, 21, 35, like what? And like, you said, it's, like you said, it's only improved. Yes, it went from 35 to 21 to 9 to yes, 20. It's, 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 a, it's, a, big, it's a, big, a big, significant change. Both guys had, I believe, a, a, a crazy 
year or a year. Yes. And look at him now. Yeah, but I'm just... He's only 28. I'd rather but... have the bargain of this pitcher than um, Marcus Simeon. Mm -hmm. yeah. We talked about how many. How much should we pay Chris Davis. Chris Davis, the other Chris Davis from Oakland was going to be my second one. But how much do we play Chris Davis? Yeah. So Chris Davis from Oakland was going to be my second. But I think Sar Simeon's, with the age difference and all that, I think it, it, ha it had to go to him. What do you mean second to, to what? So between Bar Oakland. Bargain deal? Yeah. Chris Davis, really? Yeah. Do you have his, bro, his numbers are crazy. It's just so many strikeouts, dude, and the average is... Killer. But you're paying for the home runs. Paying too much for the home runs. But that's always been a part of the game. You only had 12 home runs last year. Oh, I'm not talking about this Chris Davis. Oakland Chris Davis. But I brought up him so we can compare. His Chris Davis from Baltimore last year hit, made 23 million. He's been making 23 million for the last four years. Yeah. For the last four years, home run goes as 38, 26, 16, and 12. Averages. 221, 215, 168, 179. Didn't even play the full seasons. 128, 128, 105, 157. And we're paying 23 million. That's what power hitters get on the market. That's what Joey Gallo is going to get. That's what they get. Marcus Simeon is doing the same for 13 million. Better numbers. I shouldn't even say the same. I uh, Personally, I wouldn't pay Marcus Simeon that much. 13 million? Th oh, 13 million? I would pay him 18. I wouldn't go up to 20. Okay, now for Simeon. Even that, they were 97 but wins last year. Like, I can't, nah, Marcus Simeon has to be the person from Oakland. Chris Davis is the number I'm going to pull up now. Chris Davis against 16.75. This is Chris Davis from Oakland. This is who, who's going to be my second. Last year, not the best year, but... Still 23 home runs. Exactly. But he's getting more money, that's the point. For, he's getting 16 and 20. Simeon's hit 30. 285, 40... Three doubles, if I'm not mistaken. Year before that, though, Chris Davis is 48. That's why. From yeah. Oakland. Then yeah. 43, then 42. That's why he's my second. He could, he could probably going to go up to a $20 million player. I think Marcus Simeon is the biggest steal in Oakland. The biggest steal for me is uh, Petit. 35-year-old Petit? Yep. That's not really worth the contract. 5.5 million? Psh, hell yeah. For, for a 271 ERA? 13 million for an anywhere in the infield player no. great offensive numbers that's crazy i can't i can't i can't go with no you can't change my mind on this one on especially simeon. to simeon bro he was 30 mvp last year which i thought was ridiculous he played 162 games how was that ridiculous 285 bro 33 home months 43 doubles he got i understand he's getting better 187 maybe, maybe. hits 187 hits and you don't want to pay this man eight million more than that relief pitcher who's going to play two more years. I'm not saying he's 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 worth, like I said he's worth nineteen. His contract is more, 18. but I think he this guy deserves his, uh, eight. Marcus nine. Marcus Simeon's the best man for your butt. Thirty MVP, which is not ridiculous. One hundred eighty-seven hits. He almost puts two hundred hits, thirty home runs, ninety-two RBI. I'm also thinking like I don't know who's, who's like a they're not going to pay for him. The bargain at him out, he has to be traded. You you like you like big time stuff, right? Marcus Simeon's war is eight point nine, bro. Mike Trout is eight point two. Yeah. Not saying he's better than Mike Trout. No, no, no. But all. you like those numbers. Mind you, Trout hit 400, uh, 45, 45 more months and one hundred and four RBIs, and he has a better war, bro. And Marcus Simeon played every game, plus he could play shortstop, second or third. For 13 million. Yeah, you're, 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 as much as you say, man, you're not gonna convince me. I'm gonna stick with Petit. Woo. All right, let's move on then. Let's move on to my next pick, which is Mike Shaw from the Angels. From the Angels? Mike Trout. How you gonna dog your deserves, old man? He deserves the money. Does he deserve more? Yes. Yes. That's, yes, he, he carried that franchise. He could have yeah. left. He could have went he to the other side of he LA. He should have left. No, like, he shouldn't have. We got to see. I don't like that anymore. Like Derek Jeter stuck in during there was many hard years, but Derek Jeter stuck in during hard years. Like I don't like the switching of teams like that. It's not fun for the game anymore when you know, oh, we have the most money to spend. We're gonna go over the luxury tax and just go sign every player. Like Dodgers 
I'm not excited to see the Dodgers play because I know it's an all-star team playing. I yeah. like teams that you have to grit, like Tampa. Tampa, how are they going to get this win? True. Um, so, how much do you think Trout should have been paid for? I mean, he's making 37. The loyalty. I mean, I think they paid him back because they gave him a 12-year deal. It's 28. So, 40. Like, that's what Pujols is now. And Pujols has two more years. But seeing as a Pujols, you're paying Pujols 30 million. You're going to be paying Pujols 30 million when he's 42 going to 43. And you're only giving my man 37, who stuck with you, who could have left, who is the franchise of MLB. Like, yeah. that, the franchise player yeah. of MLB. Not even Angels. Like, the guy. Yeah. 40 million. Yeah. Seeing as though you're paying everybody else 35, yeah. 40 million. 40 million. You have to distinguish he's, the he's best. The be- he's the best of all time. Yeah, like, that's, my, that's Jordan right now. Yeah. I, I, I wasn't thinking Mike Trout because I'm like... He deserves the money, but I think he deserves more. I picked Julio Tehran, and I'm probably going to... I have... You're just looking, hoping the upside. I'm hoping, 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 hoping for the upside. Because for only $9 million a year to possibly take Julio Tehran, who could possibly be the number three. Julio Tehran on his best doesn't come close to Mike Trout. No. And Mike Trout's no. still not getting paid what and, he should get and, paid and, based and, on and all I the contracts. With Julio Tehran, the most he probably should be paid is $12 million. He can get 20 he has a great year. He can go get twenty. Yeah, but I'm saying Trout is getting thirty-seven million. And he's still not getting paid what he's worth. No. So yeah, I'm definitely switching to Trout because he's the best player of my generation. He deserved to get paid more than any other player and in the MLB. Like, yeah, I, I gotta go with the yeah the Angels, Mike Trout. Mike Trout. Yeah. All right. So let's wrap it up in right. the AL West with the Astros. Astros. This one. I thought made more sense because of his contract last year. I picked uh, Ryan uh, Presley. Amazing, amazing stats in relief, and an amazing contract last year. He got a little bit of an, uh, an extent, uh, another contract this year, but he's worth the money. He was worth worth what he made, what he's making right now. What, what did he just sign for? You say he just signed a new deal? Yeah, he just signed a new year deal. It's um, eight point seven seventy five million. Before that. Before that, he was making uh, five. Well, we're going to go. We have to go up to eight, seven, five contract. That's what he's going to be making twenty twenty. Yeah. Ryan Presley. Yeah, eight, seven, five. Yeah. For the next two years. And I think for with the best option for, for that kind of production out of him. But see, for me, I he, like it. Yeah, but he's thirty one, and I'm gonna go with George Springer. For me, between Michael Brantley and George Springer, Michael Brantley's making sixteen million. I think, I think I would rather right now. George Springer, that's why I went with him, 21, 5 million more. But I feel like when George Springer signs his next contract extension, I'm going to have to change that. But for 21 for George Springer, I think that's a steal. George Springer is always, always an MVP talk. He's rookie of the year, he finished eight. Like, I get that. And mind you, six years in the league, all with Houston. Spit me some, spit me his numbers. All right, let's go 162 game average for his career. 728 plate appearances, that's a ton. Yeah. Hits 170 for his career, 29 doubles, 35 home runs, two two triples, 93 RBIs, 270 batting average. So how much, like, how often, with all honesty, he's getting 21 million right, right now, right? Based off his numbers, but we're also factoring in his bad years when they were bad. If you look at the last three years, which I think we should focus on more. Last, is last three years have been pretty, really good. 283, 265, 292 when it comes to batting average. Home yeah. runs is 34, 32, 39. That doesn't even include the 290, 29 he had before that, though. Yeah. but but Based off those numbers, that's a $25 million contract of what MLB's been giving out. Rendon has similar numbers. Yeah. And Rendon just got in the 30s, pushing 38. Yeah. With, with all honesty, Ryan Presley maybe deserves 10 million, but that's just a $2 million difference for, for... And right now, the Astros are paying their players what they are close enough to what they deserve, so it's really hard to pick one from the other. Because if you wanted to pick Michael Brantley, like 16 million, he's probably worth 20. And we also have to understand, in all of 2019, He's played center field, right field, I believe two two errors in all of 2019. Yeah. He's a gold glove every year. 2018, no errors. 2018, no errors. Actually, one error, I'm sorry. No, two errors. They switched it. I don't like how they're breaking it down. So I'm seeing five errors 2017, six errors 2015. Like, the most errors I see in a season, I think, is seven in 2014, rookie year. Gold glover. I, I have to give it to, I have to give it to Springer. I'm I'm gonna stick with Presley. I gotta stick with Presley. It's 
it, it's just pinch of pennies right now because it seems it seems like the Astros are paying what the players are making are shooting. I, I I gotta go with Springer. I'm sticking with Presley. So for Astros, I have Springer. And Astros, I have uh, Presley. All right. Angels. Do do oh we're doing a recap. Yeah. Oh for Angels, I gotta go with Mike Trout. Trout. Like as much as we go to Iran, I wanted to say who to Iran, but with all honesty, Mike Trout it is Mike Trout. Um, A's? I'm sticking with Petit. I got Marcus Simeon. Mariners? Um, D, D Gordon. D Gordon. Gordon. Switch to D Gordon. Rangers? Rangers? Um, I have Corey Kluber. Corey Kluber? Yeah. I want to say Cody Allen, but Corey Kluber is a, a lot better trade bait. No, no, sorry. No, I'm going with Cody Allen. Cody Allen would be a lot easier to trade than, than uh, yeah, I'm going with Cody Allen. All right, well, that wraps up the AL West. Well, that's the AL West. Hey, thanks again, you guys, for coming. Um, please like and subscribe. We'll be back here next week with um, NLs. We're doing the NL next week, so uh, be sure to hit that notification that next button. Week, next video. Well, next video, fine. Because they're going to see us in the same clothes and be like, hmm. Next video. No, we only wear the same clothes. We have a uniform in here. Yeah, they're not supposed to know that. Ah, jeez. <laughs> yeah, that wraps up the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cut! Uh so let me ask you a question. Who do you like better? Performance wise, not age. Bregman or, or Springer? Performance rides. I gotta go with Bregman. Uh, I would I would say Springer. I don't know what you like about Bregman.